Welcome back. I wanted to continue the tutorial for our air arcade battles, and I wanted to continue here with the German air tree. We're again coming in with sort of a variety of the first few ranks after the reserve tier. So we have a couple of 2.7s, 3.0s, and some 4.3s in the mix here. So some 109s, some 190s, and JU88s. Uh, in this type of game here, it's again a domination. You run into a lot of domination games uh, in Air Arcade. And for these, um, it's probably more about covering the airfields and dogfighting. Uh, bombers don't help a ton unless you're just going to try to take out the tanks that have auto-captured an airfield. Um, since these light tanks and anti-air are so far back uh, flying that far in a bomber right now is probably not going to help um, it's pretty close to their spawn so it's asking to get killed so we'll assess the situation as um, the enemy gets closer um, looks like three of ours are pretty low I don't know why the third one needed to get that low but I guess sometimes you have some players that They'll fly, try to touch down, they don't actually capture anything, and then we end up missing the opportunity to capture. But I'm glad that we have two fields now. Here we have some bombers going in. Um, I'd rather focus on the fighters that are putting presence over sea. We have, they have three over here. There's a Yak-7 as well. may be able to come in and intercept this Yak-7. I don't know if he is aware that I'm closing in. Get some frame rate drop again. I don't know if that's happening to other players, but I've seen some reports on Reddit and general discussion that the game stutters a bit. I don't know if the new update will help or make it worse, but let's hope that it, things improve. Okay, this 110 you can try to go for. We got a couple of hits, but that Spitfire was right behind me. I wasn't positioned well for that. <clears throat> we'll come back in with our next one. So they've neutralized A, they've taken, they've had B, and it looks like C was taken by that 110 that I tried to shoot. Here, if our team can take out that Yak-9, I can go in and capture A to get at least a field back for us. Okay. I'm going to hit my landing flaps here to get some speed. Kill some of the speed here. And I'm going to turn the flaps back up. And at around 3 something we could probably land. Just I don't want to touch my propeller. Okay, we're able to capture. Throttle up. Cut. Put my gear back up. And it looks like they have a lot of presence over... See now. If their full team is rushing at C, we may be able to sneak in and get on B. Even our team is calling out for an attack on it, so let's see. Although with three there and no backup, probably not going to be a good idea. So this HE100 is. Uh, was trying to go after me, but uh, our team Spitfire is helping out. Okay, so we have some men, we have some teams coming in. P47 is gonna angle at me. Yep, 
you know. He's gonna try to turn fight, which the P forty seven is a pretty slow turner. Doesn't turn the best. We're gonna take him out there. We can clear out some of these people. We can go in and try to get a capture here. I'll let my team go after that P-39. Or not. I don't think they're getting him right now. Okay, position ourselves. Turn the flaps back on Rays. Okay, we got a critical. Put my flaps back to combat. Let's pull up. Okay, I got a kill credit, surprisingly, even though I didn't actually finish him off. It looks like we're able to get B. And now their team is rushing in here. JU87 is gone. But those tanks are going to auto cap B again, so there's no point in loitering too much. At least we've neutralized the, the captures for now. Without chat, you can't even really send any messages to your team to say don't waste your time trying to cap. And there we go, the tanks are now on B, so they're going to auto cap until they drive away. So we can head towards C. There's only two here. I'm going to tell them to attack the C point. P-47 and a Spitfire, we can, okay, here he comes, Almost got me. 47 is right at me. That Spitfire can really, really turn. I'm using my rudder. Ruddering to my right. And try to line up here. There we go. Yak 9T as well. Rudder to the right to get that rotation with my tail. Okay, he's done. And... Okay, looks like our P-36 is coming in. I don't know if he's going to get down in time. I'll go ahead and drop my gear as well. Okay, it looks like Spitfire's turning around. He's going to be able to get both of us. Okay, cut my throttle. And I, cut, I hit, ended up striking my propeller, but totally worth it. And am I going to die to these trees? Yeah. I'll take it. We uh, almost lost all of our tickets just in the duration of some of those dogfights. So I'm going to spawn back in with the 190. So A should be sort of okay for the time being until our last few tanks roll away. Um, C is definitely under a threat here. And I think that LA-5 is coming in for a landing. I don't think we're going to be able to do much. Most of our team has already abandoned the game. 
and with the others coming in here. Yeah, that's pretty much the game here. Spitfires. I'm going to try to capture, even if it means dying, it's worth trying to get this last. I'm uh, going to get some guns in here. Shooting in between his name. Uh, shooting in between his name and the uh, and the dot, somewhere around that point, is the right spot for head-on shots. I was able to get him, but not able to land, unfortunately. So I'll show that again. So when you see their name, you want to shoot right between the dot and the sh and the and their plane, so that by the time they're flying into it head on, the the arc and the drop of the shots will uh, end up hitting right where their pilot is in the cockpit. And you want to do that with a with reasonable enough distance to where you can roll away or disengage, so you don't fly into their head on shots. We couldn't maintain. I don't. I don't really like domination maps. I like ground strikes and I like frontline missions because you can't just lose the game because no one wanted to do any type of base capturing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more. Oh, I was able to end up researching another aircraft. I'm not gonna buy it yet, I'll wait. Sometimes I like to wait if there's a sale and buy all, everything together when there is a discount on them. So here, I've already gotten through some of the ranks. I'm trying to make my way down into the jets. Um, I've already done the first Fock Wolves for this line here. Uh, the ME-410. So I think I'll do the DO-335. Let's go ahead and get into another game. And I talked a little bit about crew points. The part that I didn't mention last time is if you look at your crew, when you can use your, you can spend your points. So here, I need to spend some on stamina. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There is a qualification tab. Oh, I guess we got into a game before, but you can buy some advanced training. You have to do the, you have to at least get. I think it's advanced training or expert training before you can um, unlock the final tier. That's just done through general playing the aircraft, where you can get an ace level for your pilot, and that adds a plus three to all of the the crew skills on each of the, the lines. And we can talk about that after this game. So here, um, this is another ground strike with bases. I don't see any major bombers beyond this B-25 and maybe the IL-4. So I'm going to go ahead and intercept bombers here. And then we'll take the JU-88 next. And that one as well. Actually, in fact, I should have probably taken my JU-88 now and taken out as many soft targets as possible, but we'll do that next. B-25 I'm going to go for. Yak nine is also I don't know if he's going he's going for the A twenty so I'll go for the B twenty five. Here we go. Let's plan our shots. Lead now. So we're able to get a tail kill. Go for the MB one fifty seven. 
J2Ms are really good turn fighters. So I like to be careful of those. He's dead. Hit my combat flaps at this point. Skip my my guns just ahead of him. Got him on fire. Okay, I'm pitching up here. And I still had my combat flaps. Or I raised them now. Okay, this P63 looks like he's almost facing at me. Okay, our teammate got him. There's a 109 here. And I don't see any other bombers, so we can engage some fighters here. Combat flaps. Just a little short with my guns there, and he's already dead by our team. P47. Here I'm going to lead. This VB here, combat flaps, P400, left rudder, and pitching up at the same time while I'm ruddering. He's doing a good job of evading. Okay, that was a good shot by that 190. Got it, two kills. Not, not great, but good enough. Okay, I'm going to fly in with my JU-88. I'm taking um, the 28 50 pounders or 100 kgs. And then, so we have a total of like 32 bombs, which should be more than enough to do some damage to these uh, fixed targets here. So you see those clusters of howitzers, uh, pillboxes, and AA. Those are nice, easy, juicy kills for bombers. And it's not too far away that we can hopefully launch, or sorry, not launch, but drop as much of this bomb load as possible. The tanks that are rolling are a little bit harder to hit from this altitude. You'd have to drop down lower, and as soon as I get lower, it's going to be like a swarm of enemy fighters on me, so... For this battle rating, this is a, a nice way to, to get some experience points. And that DO217 looks like it's going for me, so I'm going to dive straight down, get some speed. I'm basically redlining my plane now in the dive. And here, let's start getting our bombing targets ready. So here we're going to start dropping our bombs. And my tail gunner is already starting to fire and this is where the defensive skill set helps. And I'm on fire. We've got five targets already. I'm zigzagging, so I'm not flying totally straight, but got a few kills there. And you can see we were able to take a, a little bit of their tickets, so we're almost even on the tickets. Let's go ahead and take our next JU-88 in. Okay, we're going to come in from the left side this time. Because that DO, before that DO forced me to dive earlier than I wanted to. This time I'm going to maintain my altitude a bit and see if we can't get more bombs off this time.
They were almost within range for uh, our ground targets. Okay, I think we're ready for our bombing pass at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and position my bomber here. I'm going to use my bombing reticle view for dropping. So there, there, there. Some of these are going to miss. I was just shy of getting it to ride on. I still have seven left. There's a 109 coming in pretty fast. Medium tanks here, we'll go for it. Just ahead of the tank, so they roll right into where the bombs are going to be. That was good. Two more bombs left. Can get this T-34 right here. There's actually two of them. Got them both. We're going to wait the 50 seconds for our bombs to reload, and we'll come back in and do some more. Oh, those P-63s right on me. Team got him. I'm gonna stay up back here behind my enemy, behind my team, sorry, not my enemy, my team teammates. And hopefully there's enough cover that I can fly long enough to get my next bomb drops. We should be able to clean out these tanks on this side of the map. I'm down to one engine and I'm getting pretty slow now, so I'm gonna have to really manage my maneuvering. Okay, my bombs are back, and I see three tanks here, let's go for those. And you can see we already have the advantage of tickets now, so that bombing run that we did helped a good amount, like I said. It's not worth wasting time on some of those bases when you can do a bigger difference with just taking out tanks. See, they're almost um, complete on their tanks now, sorry, on their tickets now. Two more tanks here. See if we can get them. They're moving kind of fast. We're dropping two bombs. So I got a got a hit, but didn't really kill them. So let's circle back. I can use my rudder to do a, try to do a flat turn. Pretty wide turning circle here, and I see two red red indicators meaning there's some people above me they could be okay looks like it's their bombers so all right yeah see that it's pretty tough with the tank especially in those trees I don't want to take the chance with those trees and crash we only have another target left so I can take out this and that should hopefully bleed the last bit of their tickets Yep, that was it. And that's a victory. We got 19 ground targets and two uh, air kills. And if you get at least 18 targets per game in a ground strike mission or a frontline mission, you will get the Thunder Badge, which gives you like another 5,000 lines or I forget how many lines it is, but it's definitely worth it. See, we made 
with premium time, we made almost 30,000 silver lines, and maybe we'll get lucky with some additional on top. Yeah, there we go. 7,500 extra on top. It's pretty good. Uh, a little bit of research points as well. So I'd say that was a successful mission. Enjoyable, not too stressful, and I was able to get some bombing in as well. So thanks for watching. Um, and if you have any suggestions or recommendations, uh, please feel free to comment in the video. Thank you.